PMAC Movies back in the movie room for a new PMAC Movies haul video. If you enjoy the channel, think you get something out of the channel and want to help out, take a look in the description section for ways to help out PMAC Movies, including giving it a thumbs up and commenting. Um, so we're going to take a look at Orbit DVD today. I've never ordered from Orbit DVD until their recent... I believe it was a 35% off sale, and I forget what it was, some sort of anniversary or something. I I don't remember, but um, I remember looking into placing an order from, from them before, and I ended up not, and I really thought, like, I was pretty sure that part of the reason I didn't was because they were charging me tax. Like, I'm pretty confident, and then this time... I wasn't being charged tax on top of the 35% discount. Um, now, the discount was on only certain certain um, items from certain companies, including 88 Films, U.S. 88 Films, um, Severin, um, I'm trying, a few other brands. I can't, I can't remember. Um, the one was like ones that MVD puts out. I forget. I, I did buy some some of those. I forget the, the name, but we'll take a look at what I got. Uh, I placed three orders, actually. I placed one, which I thought was going to be my only order, and then I came back and, and placed some more. I did some more research and decided I wanted some other things. Um, So these are... I think this is my first and second order, and then my third one hasn't shipped yet. So it's probably, you know, I'm probably not going to get that until I suspect like next week or something like that. They haven't shipped it. So it, you know, with how they're doing with the shipping, it, it, it's not going to be this week. Um, so probably next week. But we'll take a look. So we'll take a look at my first order, my second order. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what I heard of Orbit DVD. I've heard that they're a really good company, that they... Their shipping practices are excellent as far as how they wrap up the items. Um, they take really good care of them so that they don't get damaged. Um, there's pluses and minuses to buying from these smaller companies like an Orbit DVD or a Diabolic DVD um, or a Grindhouse Video um, versus an Amazon. They, those companies are small businesses. They tend to pack a lot better things like that. I think, I guess my concern would be while the customer service is more like you're probably dealing with somebody who runs the company or like one person away from who runs the company, it's a small business. So if you're saying that there's damage to the item or something, and I haven't had an issue like this, um, partly because I'm not going to go ahead and, like I got a Diabolic DVD order and there were some issues with it, but I just like didn't even, I didn't even want to complain about it or whatever um but like amazon you get something and, and they'll it's like you're dealing with some lower level person so they're just going to send you another one and you return what you got or they'll give you a certain percentage off something like that so whereas with this it could be like oh well that's a manufacturing issue you're out of luck based on their some of their return policies it's like if there's a minor defect with the packaging or whatever you know you know, we're basically can't do anything about that sort of thing from some of these companies. So that's kind of, there's pros and cons to both. And plus, as far as the pricing, I mean, you're going to, you're generally going to be able to get better prices from some of these other companies like an Amazon um, or a Best Buy or a Target. Um, now, Hamilton Books, another small business where the prices might end up being pretty good there. And their, as far as their return policies and stuff like that, it's pretty darn good. So I like to deal with Hamilton Book. Um, but, you know, let's take a look at what we got here. So this is the first order. I do remember some of the stuff I got. Um, I'll talk about each item that I got, why I got it. And um, we'll take a look at how they packed it. Okay, so they have like a receipt in here, like a store receipt, which is kind of neat. And when we open it up, 
we see this on top. So, you know, they're really packing it well on top, hopefully on the bottom too. And we'll take a look. So the first item here is a Severin uh, movie. And it is a Italian TV anthology. It's actually 445 minutes. And um, I'll take a look at the prices at the end, if the prices are on the receipt, which it looks like they are. I believe this was about around $16. It is the devil's game here. So to be able to get something that's like maybe it's acclaimed Italian TV anthology and definitely something, you know, I could watch here during the, the Halloween season. It's from 1981. It is in Italian with optional English subtitles. Um, looks like it's region free. Two disc collection includes Mario Baba's final film, The Venus of Ill, starring Daria Nicolotti. So I thought this was a pretty good bang for the buck here. So I decided to go ahead and grab that one. So that was a... And I found out about that one through looking at uh, Blu-ray.com message boards. Somebody mentioned it. I looked into it and I wanted it. Now this is one that was on my list of ones I wanted to get. It was still advertised as having the slipcover. Um, I want to get all these 88 films movies. It looks like it's region A and B. It is 120 minutes from 1999. And it is gorgeous here on Blu-ray. I believe this is like a, you know, a Chinese action comedy. Um, so to be able to get the limited edition of this for, I believe it was about 16 bucks. We'll take a look at the receipt after, but to be able to get it for that price was a really, really nice deal. And th this one was definitely on the want list. The Devil's Game wasn't on the want list. It was just uh, doing a little research. Now this is one that was, I already have the Blu-ray of this. I like sci-fi. I thought it was a really good price for this edition of it. Um, so glad to be able to get it for, for, you know, a good deal. And it is silent running here, 4K. I did not get the Arrow Blu-ray of this. I really have an issue with the... I mean, these companies are just trying to make money. That's the reality of it. And part of what's happened is I didn't think when, you know, when 4K came out, I was thinking 3D Blu-ray didn't do that great. It was kind of a fad, a brief fad, and then it was gone. Well, 4K, it seems like, especially these companies like Scream Factory, Arrow, uh, or Scream Slash um, Shout Factory, and these, these other boutique companies are just releasing their whole catalogs on 4K. So if you have like a nice 4K or a nice Blu-ray with the slipcover, like a limited edition it no longer is going to have the value that it had because they're just putting it out on 4K. Um, so the, my question is, does this have the Blu-ray with it too, which I don't remember when I ordered it. I suspect that this is a one-disc edition. I will have to take a look into that. A lot, it seems like a lot of these arrows, they just give you either the 4K or the Blu-ray in their limited editions, which I don't care for, but... Um, that's that's the way it is, and then it's up to you whether you want to buy it or not. Um, so there's that one. That was, I believe, 22. Now, this is uh, a company I don't really know much about, but this seems to be the best movie that they've put out, according to what I was looking into. I wasn't really interested in anything else that they put out. It's from 1976, 97 minutes, and it is... Yakuza Graveyard here, which it, it didn't look like anywhere else had even close to the price that this was being sold for. So Radiance is another one of the companies that was part of this sale. Um, great deal for these as, as far as like looking and seeing if they were a comparable price elsewhere. This was the best you were going to do for these Radiance Films um, releases. So to be able to get Yakuza Graveyard for that price was a really good beer me. Um, and this is a Blu-ray limited edition. It looks like a, so, sounded like a really great movie. And it's limited to only 3,000 copies. I just wasn't, I looked into the other Radiance movies and I just wasn't interested in them. Like they just didn't sound that great. Uh, I believe this is the last item and, and the most expensive item out of this. Um, I had almost bought this from, from Deep Discount. 
I passed on it from Deep Discount, and I ended up saving a few dollars, not a, not a ton. Um, so from what I've read, there's two good movies out of this and two crappy movies, and it is Severin's House of Psychotic Women box set here. Um, they did since release a couple of these individually. I think Identikit and Footprints, I believe those are supposed to be the much better movies. And then it also has I Like Bats and the other side of the underneath. So I thought, you know, be able to get the box set. If I, you know, that during a sale, maybe the, the two better movies would be down to like 15 bucks each, which would be 30 bucks. Um, I think I probably paid a little bit less than 50 for this during this sale. So for the box and, 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 you know, to have the whole complete set, I thought it was worth it to pay an extra less than $20, you know, basically less than $10 each for those other two movies. Um, so glad to be able to get it. This was one that was on the radar. I had looked at it on deep discount. Amazon had kind of dropped it a little bit, but it was, I think it was still better on deep discount. So I waited, um, wasn't quite convinced that I wanted to get it at that price still, but um, ended up getting it a little bit cheaper. So glad to be able to get that box set. I guess I'm put, putting these over here. So that is the end of the first order. I do have a receipt here, which has my information on it. So I'm not going to show it. Um, so Gorgeous was $16.24. The Devil's Game was $16.24. Yakuza Graveyard, same price. House of Psychotic Women, limited edition, was $47.45. And Silent Running was $22.75. Which Silent Running, uh, Hamilton Book, did have the that for like $20. Bucks. But you got to take into account, too, the Hamilton Book um, one... I'm not, you're not like guaranteed a slipcover, although I suspect it is a limited edition slipcover one. Um, and then you have to pay tax. So it still would have been, it would have been a little bit less than that, but pretty close. Um, and another thing is this, during this sale, you had to buy at least three items to get the free shipping. Uh, I was already over that, but I wouldn't know that uh, Hamilton Book was going to have that cheaper during their update. So, and I probably would have ended up saving maybe a dollar on it so that's fine package number two i think this is only three items at most four and then i think my last one ended up being more than that maybe five i guess we'll find out let's see how many we got here i don't know and they, they do have the wrapping like underneath too so um you can see you know that's the way to do it it needs protection on the bottom and the top i just got was it kino or somebody sent me and they had like or hamilton book actually they had all this paper on the top but then nothing on the bottom so the movies were just on the bottom which doesn't make sense why are you putting all that on the top and the sides and then nothing on the bottom I don't get it. Uh, we got another receipt. Pretty cool that they give you like a store receipt. I kind of like it. Um, so yeah, this is just a few. Um, so this is the other company, Unearth Classics. We got Unearth Classics. Um, they do nice as far as how they wrap the, the slipcover. So this was a movie that wasn't on my radar. I do like Asian movies. I looked into it a little bit more and uh, it was definitely something that I wanted to get. It is Evil Dead Trap here supposed to be a pretty good uh horror movie it's japanese it's uh from 1988 100 minutes and i like how unearthed films they have the slip cover and it's wrapped and it's wrapped in a pretty sturdy plastic to really protect the slip cover um shout factory should take note uh shout factory is just they're they're a very cheap outfit i feel like um, with the scratch discs and, the you know, the cheap cases. And so th this is, this is pretty nice. Nice little packaging there, how they do that. Um, up next, we got an Asian movie. We got a limited edition. This wasn't a great, great price. 
but um, I wanted it. I think it'll be cheaper. I wanted to make sure I get the the slipcover edition of it. It is knockabout. I had to be careful with some of these Arrow Asian movies because I actually found that I had some of them in 88 Films collections that I had like I don't I forget what the title of one it was like a John Woo action movie and I realized that I already had it in an 88 film set so I did not need the Arrow video edition um this is a 2k restoration um looks like it has a couple versions it has a 105 minute version and a 93 minute version so this is a uh Sammo Hung movie I do believe yeah so glad to be able to get that. And we got one other. I think just one more. Yeah, just one more. A nice limited edition of uh, another Arrow one. So another one where the price, I think, could end up being better than this at some point. But to be able to get um, get this from a good company where, they, you know, you're supporting a small business, you're still you're getting it for a solid price, not paying tax. I thought it was a, a good way to go ahead and get it. And it is Warriors 2 here on Blu-ray. So that last one I showed you, Knockabout, that is not advertised as a limited edition. It's advertised as a special edition. This has a poster with it. I'm not sure that that one does. So that might be part of it. Um, this also has a couple of, uh, versions of the movie. It has a 95-minute version and a 90-minute version. Um, this is also a Sammo Hung movie. And, uh, I, you know, I know very little about it. I have, I like to collect these, um, these Asian movies. So went ahead and grabbed it. it. It was one that when I saw they were releasing this, when they announced it, it was one that was on my radar. So when I saw it as part of the sale for a good price, I went ahead and snagged it. So those are the only three from this order. Like I said, the third order... That will probably be here next week. I, um, I think it was probably five or six items. We'll see. Prices. Um, Evil Dead Trap was $14.29. Knockabout and Warriors 2 were both $18.20. So again, I thought, you know, pretty solid prices there. Very happy with, um, you know, the shipping method, the job that they do as far as packing. The items look like they're in good condition. I don't see. The only one that I saw that had issues, which wasn't because of Orbit DVD, was like Silent Running has like that sort of thing. But, I mean, that's nothing to complain about. Um, that's pretty minimal, I would say. So hopefully the discs are all in order. And actually, let's show it this way. So got a nice stack there. Two packages for more of it. Orbit DVD. Hopefully they do more sales like this. And it will be a great way to get Severin movies, Unearthed Films, um, Arrow Limited Editions for really good prices. Um, let me know if you participated in this sale. And um, let me know your experience with Orbit DVD. And we will see you next time on PMAC Movies.